Hey, what's up guys? I'm St. R. Edwards. Welcome back to Swift Coding for Everyone. You remember in the last video where you guys said that you were up for a challenge? Make sure there's a challenge at the end of this. So make sure you guys do the challenge. Or maybe you didn't say it, but since you're here, I assume that you are up for a challenge. So in that case, we're going to get this thing going. So what we're going to do is we're going to build a simple app that furthers our understanding, mine included, of our understanding of the view controller lifecycle and the order of events. So we're going to create a new Xcode project called order of events and let's get started. So I'm going to open up a new Xcode project and I'm going to say create new Xcode project, single view app, and we're just going to call it order of events. Hit next, save to our desktop. Hit create. I'm gonna make my screen bigger. All right, and this is what we're gonna do. So first of all, I want to rename this view controller um, first VC because we're gonna have two more um, view controllers on the storyboard, and so we're gonna have a middle one, and then we're gonna have a last one too. So I want to do this. So I'm gonna right click on view controller. I'm gonna hit refactor. Hit rename. Just type first VC for short and then hit enter. And I'm also going to change it up here because I'm a little OCD. And so I'm going to hit uh, first VC up here in the comments so everything matches. Save that. And then I'm going to go to the storyboard and we're, we see that it changed. All right. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to add two new view controllers to the view, of course as I mentioned before so I'm gonna drag one out here this will be the middle one and then we're gonna do another one and this will be the last one alright and what I want to do now though is I want to click on this first one again and I'm gonna embed this in a navigation controller so I'm gonna go up to editor embed in navigation controller and that was kinda weird that it popped up up top like that but it's all good we'll rearrange it and for our second or for our middle and our last VC, we need to create new files for it. We need to create uh, code files for it. So you can do one of two things. You can uh, go up to the, the toolbar and do it, or you can do the shortcut, which is doing command, the command key and the end key on your keyboard. So I'm going to do it that way. So I'm just going to uh, go up to my folder here. And I'm going to hit command N. And we're going to do a Cocoa Touch class file again. Hit next. Make sure it's a subclass of UI View Controller. And it is. And so I'll just say middle VC. Hit enter. And I'm going to hit create. And then we're going to do it once again. Command N. Cocoa Touch class. And then I'm going to go last VC. Hit create. All right, bam. So I'm going to move these two up uh, underneath the first VC. All right. And so go back to the main dot storyboard. And now we're going to connect these. So I'm going to create or um, click on the middle VC. And I am going to go up to the identity inspector. And again, we can do a keyboard shortcut. So we can do command option and we can do three. And as you can see, that popped up for me. So I'm already in the class section, so I'm just going to start typing middle, and I'm going to hit enter and to confirm it, and so now that is a middle VC, and if we go to the last view controller, you'll see that once we click off of it, the middle VC will pop up on the middle VC. And there it is. All right, and so same thing here. I'm going to click in the class section and start typing last VC, and I'm going to hit enter to confirm. Bam, we got all of our files connected to our um, storyboard uh, views or view controllers. All right, cool. So what I want to do next is I want to just give these things some, uh, some distinction. I'm going to just give it some background colors. And so I'm going to go to this first VC, click on it here, and I actually click on the, click on the view itself. And I'm going to do Command Option 4. To go over to the attributes inspector and then in the background i'm going to give it a background color uh, i'll just go with this blue that's what i have available and then for this middle vc i'm going to go 
do this peach color and then for the last VC I'll give it this uh I'll give it this uh, purple color all right and so here um and on this first VC all we want is a button that says um a button that says go to, or show me the view controller lifecycle or show me the lifecycle so that's what we're going to do in the object library I'm going to start typing button and I'm going to drag that over into the middle all right and then I'm going to start typing click on it I'm going to say just show me the life cycle I'm going to hit enter uh, I'm going to change this font a little bit I'm going to hit custom Helvetica new is fine we'll go to 19 and then I'm going to hit done and I want to change the color to white a little bit more visible and then uh I'm going to constrain it um, to the center horizontally and vertically in the container. I'm going to do that. Bam. All right. Next, for the middle VC, what we want is two things. We want a label at the top. And uh, what this label will say is um, nothing has happened yet in this label uh, at, at the top that we're going to add. And then at the bottom, we're just going to say go to last VC or something of that matter. So we're going to go with the first thing here. I'll start typing label in the object library, drag the label out, and I'm going to drop it about right there. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to say nothing has happened yet. Drag it over to the center. You know what? I'm going to leave it right there. It's acting funky right now. White. And I'm going to change the font style to custom Helvetica new, and I'll go to uh, I'll go to 20 here. But this is what we want to do here for this label. We want to make sure the lines are zero, so that way um, it can expand as much as it needs to, and it's it's going to need to here in a little bit, and you'll see why. So I'm going to put put this thing over here in the middle, and I'm going to set a constraint to it only for the top and then center it horizontally in the container. Um, so we'll say 20 from the top or the safe area. I'm going to hit um, add this constraint. And then like I said, as you can see, we've got some red showing on it. So I'm going to highlight it again on the sides. So we're going to just say horizontally in container and then all the red, all the red will go away and then it'll be blue. All right, cool. So we got that done. And then now we're going to add a button, like I said, I'm going to drag the button down here to the bottom. And then in the button, we're just going to say, go to last VC. And again, I'm going to change this font style to custom Helvetica. Um, 17 is fine. Done. Change it to white color. And then I'm going to constrain this to the bottom. And I'm going to horizontally center this as well. Uh, from the bottom, we'll just say 20. For this hit add one constraint and then we're going to say horizontally in container cool and now uh from here uh well you know what let's let's backtrack a little bit so with the um on the first vc uh on the show me the life cycle button we're going to control click and drag here should have done this first my bad we're going to hit show all right, so now that's connected, and as you can see, the navigation controller bar popped up for that. And then for the go to last VC from that button, we're going to control click and drag again, go to the last VC and release, and we're going to hit show. We don't need to worry about giving the segues any identifiers because we're not passing any any information, so it's fine just the way it is. And uh, I'm going to make this a little bit easier on ourselves instead of at dragging a new label to the uh, last view controller we're just gonna do this so we're gonna we're, I'm just gonna hold option and drag over to the last VC and I'm gonna hit release or or release uh, from the from my uh, mouse or, or your trackpad all right and so now we've got that and it's already got some of the same um, actually it doesn't so we're gonna set some constraints on it and basically do the same thing so I, I have it highlighted and I'm going to go to the add new constraints and I'm going to say 20 from the top 
and then I'm going to add that and then I'm going to horizontally center in the container. All right, all blue. And for this one, we're just going to say go back to see if anything happened. All right. And so that's all we want that to say. And we are good as far as that goes. Okay. So now for the real fun stuff, right? Um, so now what we're going to do is we're going, we are going to, from our middle VC, we are going to create an outlet, an IB outlet from, for our, um, for our label because we wanted to update. So this is what we're going to do. So from the storyboard and with, the uh, the uh, middle VC label already highlighted. We can just hit option or hold option. Hold option and then you click on the middle VC file and then we already have our file that popped up next to us. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to make some space first of all. Hit enter a few times. I'll get rid of this override. Did it receive memory stuff? Don't need it right now. And so I'm going to control click and drag from the document outline actually. And so I'll just say control, click and drag and release about right there. And I'll say um, middle VC label, hit enter. All right. And then we're going to close out of that, go back into full screen. All right. So this is what we want to happen. So we got our label created. And then we're going to create a property because we need a property to update every time something changes. So that's how we're going to keep up with the order of events. So we're going to say var um, event number. And we're going to be, make it a type of int. And we're going to set it equal to one for now. All right. And you will see why here in just a second. I got a little long winded in this one. Stay tuned for the next video. Go ahead and go to the next video now.